episode lost Had to make it sure match my eyes Blood colored Porsche Ugh The rims match of course Blood hit his Tim's It reminded me of them Man the beef with Pusha T and Drake Has spilled all the way on to a concert Ladies and gentlemen With the groupies of Drake We're gonna talk about it In this video In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. That's sexy as hell, host. And we're bringing you trending news topics and we're trying to find life gains in all these topics that go on because that's what we do on this channel. Before we do it, we always put on our plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell because we're working on skilling up our craft. Bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Sponsors on this video, check out the Robinhood app. It is a free app you can download to start trading in stocks and bonds absolutely free. Start taking care of your future. And also, check out IP Vanish if you are a streamer and you want to keep your streams anonymous. If you're somebody watching this video in a country that bans you from watching what you want to watch, get IP Vanish. My link is in the video description. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Life Games Fitness, all in the video description link. So last Tuesday in Toronto, my boy Pusha T was performing, doing this thing, you know, just ripping it up in concert in Toronto. And then all of a sudden from a select area in the concert arena, beer just started raining down on my man, like rain on me, like he's a shot to in the video. And then all of a sudden, dudes from that same section try to bum rush the damn stage and get Pusha T. <laughs> Boy, he gets off stage for a minute, then he comes back, he attacks Drake, he says what he had to say, yadi yadi yadi. Take a look at this and we'll come back and finish up this video so I can give y'all the life game. So when all the dust settled and the melees had happened and all this kind of stuff went down, 
One man got stabbed several times, ladies and gentlemen. Innocent bystander. Has nothing to do with any of this drama. He just came to have a good time to see Pusha T. He got stabbed up. And a lot of those groupies that went in for Drake got arrested, sitting their asses in jail. Not to mention that they paid money to go see Pusha T now. Maybe that was their intent to try to go and cause a ruckus. But in trying to figure out what is a life game here, my grandma used to always say, you shouldn't go to concerts. You shouldn't be outside at night after the street light is gone out. And I think that has a lot to do. You know, we're descendants of slaves and she's seen some bad things happen to her mama being out at the candlelight night and all that kind of stuff. But she's always tell us young people hanging out to the clubs, you're always going to be at risk of these things happen. Well, to some degree she's right, but I kind of disagree with her. You know, you shouldn't have to worry about your life, health, and safety when you go out to any public venue. Yes, there is a threat, but if you're going to live somewhere where you have freedom, there's going to always be these threats of these type of things happening. And what I would say is the life gain takeaway. People stop using celebrities as your idols. Stop using celebrities as what push you to the top and do the bidding for them. It's one thing to like a person. It's another thing to like them so much you're going to come to a concert and fight for them, stab up people for them. You know, I love, um, let me think of who I love out there. I like Stan Lee, but I ain't about to go to no comic book Comic Con and hit people over the head because they disagree with Stan Lee about something, you know. I like Barack Obama, but I ain't about to go and try to beat up and stab a Trump voter. It just makes no sense. Um, when you have these people you like, you have to disassociate yourself from bad behavior that the person is either pushing or that the person is trying to tell you to do on their behalf because they don't like a specific enemy. And that's the life game from this, ladies and gentlemen. Separate the fame and entertainment value from the human aspect and you'll be okay. All we can do for all the people that was injured is wish them well. Some of the people involved in this situation had to leave the concert because they had to quit the concert early. So life game for that on the day is separate the entertainment people provide from the real life that you live every day. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. And until the next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.